Indeed, lots of people out there tonight and tonight's a big night. We have Halloween. We also have the start of November tomorrow. We have a blue moon tonight and we have the daylight saving time change. Then we also have a really nice beginning of the month of November. We also have a new tropical storm. Ada has formed as of 10 PM, so we will get to all of these in just a little bit, but I'll just kind of go through it with those three headlines here. Right now it's 63 in New Orleans. Our dew point in the 50s, so feeling nice and dry to me today was just stunningly beautiful. I just tried to spend all day outside, had such a good time. I hope you did too. And Halloween, of course, the beautiful weather for that. Temperatures north of the lake are in the 50s and upper 50s to mainly low 60s south of the lake. For your wake up forecast on Sunday, morning. It should be clear and kind of chilly. North shore lows about 50 or so and then south shore lows likely around upper 50s to maybe around 60 or so. And we already have seen the beautiful moon uh, that is full tonight. It is a blue moon, meaning the second in one month. So we had one at the very start of the month and now the final day of the month we have our second full moon. So that's the definition of a blue moon. And then the next Halloween blue moon, by the way, is in 2039. So I hope you enjoy this gorgeous one. It's going to set at 701. So we have all night to look up and see it. And by the way, thank you to David Williams for uh, supplying me with some of those blue moon kind of uh, little features there. Daylight saving time also comes to an end. So remember to set your clocks back. If you have not, the time changes at 2 a.m. when we fall back an hour. So to me, this is the good one where you get an extra hour of sleep or whatever else you might be doing tonight. Uh, sunrise tomorrow will be quite different. 615 a.m. and sunset 513. So we will certainly be feeling the difference as the time shifts tomorrow, especially for me with that early sunset. I always notice that one a lot. Tomorrow highs about 75. It should be gorgeous. A really beautiful start to the week and the month of November. And then here is a little reinforcing front that's going to move through tomorrow with high pressure building the rest of the week. So it actually looks great. We have our temperatures cooling down Monday, but then back into the 70s as we get toward the middle and end of the week. So our seven day forecast is going to look really good. Unfortunately, we have to talk about yet another tropical storm. So we had tropical depression 29 form earlier today. Now it's been upgraded to tropical storm Ada. It's winds at 40 miles per hour and you can see the low pressure beginning to get a little bit more organized here in the Central Caribbean Sea. So looking at the forecast from the National Hurricane Center, we are expecting it to move first of all with a ridge of high pressure here just almost completely west, maybe even southwest as we get into the next couple of days. Notice that the forecast does have it becoming a hurricane on Tuesday and probably making landfall somewhere around on Eurus or Nicar Nicaragua during the day on Tuesday. Then if it does move all the way inland, it should weaken a lot. A couple of models have it slowing down and you can see that indicated here in the National Hurricane Center forecast and eventually perhaps drifting off to the north. Not every model is doing that though. Some have it just moving inland and kind of dissipating, completely falling apart. I will say that we don't have any threats showing it coming straight for us, but if it did move north toward Cuba, maybe toward the southern Gulf or Florida, if that did happen, it would be a full week from now. So we have beautiful weather this week. This might perhaps be something we're talking about next weekend, but we will see there's still uncertainty there. Whew, the Greek alphabet. We've already made it through all of those uh, letters that you can see there, and now we're on to Ada. It is the 28th named storm this season. It's the first Ada on record. It ties 2005 for the most named storms because one storm was added later to the 2005 season, so that one didn't get a name. So officially, even though we've made it to Ada, and in 2005 they only made it to Zeta, uh, we do at this point have the same number of named storms, and we'll probably add more to that. Our seven day forecast is showing the gorgeous weather kind of chilly on Monday and then warming up a little bit by the end of the week. A beautiful start to the month. All right. Thanks, Alexandra.